The age of parking your car in the student lot without a tag ends tomorrow. Here is my report. For months, Harrington students have enjoyed the luxury of parking their car in the student parking lot without buying a parking tag. That ends tomorrow. That's right, all cars parked illegally in the parking lot that have received three warnings will be towed. I'm told the only way to get your car back is to pay a hefty $300 fine. Most of that money actually goes to the towing company as the district has to pay somewhere around $250 to have each car towed. They obviously don't like having to pay that. I asked why cars weren't towed before, as in earlier in the winter. Why start towing now? And I was told that the person who was supposed to go out and give warnings to cars parked illegally did not want to go out in the low temperatures and winter weather. It's the cold truth. At last check, 30 cars were parked illegally. Now you could say, wait, I see these open spots. Well, actually, a lot of those spots are taken up by Lower Marion School District bus drivers who park there during the day when they're out driving buses. So you can see how there's a problem. But feel lucky, LM has far less spots for students than Harrodin does. Instead, they have a pool. A parking tag costs $25. For the Ricky Report, I am Ricky Sayer. You know, in researching that story, I learned that you can get a car pass where you can, during the school day, you can get permission from administrators to go out to your car for 30 minutes and possibly drive somewhere as long as you're back in 30 minutes.